Hi guys, welcome and welcome back. So this video is going to be a little diff. I thought I would go ahead and give you guys my top 10 favorite like AliExpress must tries. Um, I've actually been asked a couple times to do this video and it's just, you know, takes time. <laughs> I apologize, but you know what? Let's do it. I have some time. Uh, and I finally got everything together. So I thought I would just kind of go through and show you what I feel some must tries. So first I'm just going to start with basically your prep. I personally, for me, love Born Pretty's prep. I love their primer. Now, I use their primer when I do extensions, even when I do Gel X, I put it, I dehydrate and I prime first. I just feel like it sticks better whatever base you're going to do for your natural nail, in my opinion. So, I use it pretty much anytime I put an extension or do anything to my nail. I'll put that first. So, absolutely love it. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Young Nails Protein Blend as well. You cannot get that off Allie. Let me know if you ever find her. Uh, but it's hard to find sometimes. I'm in Canada, and to be honest, it can still be a little hard to find. Uh, Amazon doesn't always have it. But I found, honestly, that Warm Pretty is doing just as good for me. And I've even used it on my mom, and she's such an avid lifter, and it does work okay with her with good prep. Um, so, mm, could it work against? I don't know. I wouldn't go that far yet. <laughs> but I really, really do enjoy it. Um, so, from there, I would say a peel base. My ultimate favorite peel base, uh, probably for the last over a year or so, since I really found out what a peel base was, uh, was IBD. So I recently purchased the Jello Jello because I hear such great things about the Jello Jello and especially being a content creator. We want to switch out our nails a lot. Like a lot of times we, I use, well, we use our own nails as kind of like dummy hands. So we put them through the ringer. So sometimes it's easy to, or easier to be able to pop off a set and put a new set on to do another film. Uh, so I find it can work like that. Or if you just uh, really like nail girly and every week you just want different nails, this can work well for you as well. Uh, it just takes less time. That's what I feel to do a new set. You don't have to worry about taking them off, soaking them off. It just takes away that step, honestly. And with me, I found with this specific brand, I get a good week, two weeks. Honestly, until I'm ready to take my nails off, I really don't have an issue with this brand. But it's so easy to get them off with the debonder that uh, from Full Beauty. I find this together with this, I don't know why or how, but it just works so well. Put a little this under there and lifts off, just pops off so easy. But you can also wear them for a week or two, whatever, and it doesn't just pop off. Jello Jello, I feel that when I tried it, I'm going to do a video, guys, putting these two head to head um, soon, soon. But uh, when I did try it, I found like the next day one of my nails popped off and that's kind of annoying because it took me like five hours probably to create that set. I want a week out of you at least. Like if it took me so long and it still does take me that long to do my own nails. So you better give me a week, right? So it's kind of annoying like the next day one pops off. So mm, I don't know, but I'm going to do it proper head to head. We're going to see, but I'm loving the IBD. And like I said, with this uh, full beauty debonder they pop off so easy it's kind of like how if you put this on this it's supposed to help like lift it off it's kind of the same method i would feel so head to head we're doing it one day promise you bought the jello jello just for that but you can buy this on alley a lot cheaper this is a little more pricey on my side but if you classify what six bucks is pricey then right but the shipping i think is how they get me over on my side but i will pay it all day long when it does go on sale i stock up because <laughs> i just don't want to be without that one and for another one for keeping again on the system and gel x i've been loving gel x lately i'll show you some amazing nail tips i found on ally that i'm just loving i think honestly could be a very good uh dupe for the prey ones but mm, let's see so the glue, six in one, I promise you it'll be like the only glue you need in your studio. I put it on for my Gel X tips I use it for. I use it for even if you just want a regular nail tip on. You can just use it for your charms if you want to. It really just works well. I don't really use it for charms because it will be sticky, so keep that in mind. But um, you could if you really wanted to. Just again, top coat. But I just love it. So that's my go-to. This is what I grab all the time. And quick guys, sorry, I just have some little naked nails on, but I do have Born Pretty, I don't want to forget what I do have on, rubber base, and I love the rubber base for natural nails. Uh, you can also get this off of AliExpress, but you can also get it off their website too, and I do have a discount code to help you with that. You'll get way faster shipping, <laughs> you'll get it in a, a week or two. 
Uh, rather than Ali, where it will take you about a month or so. And I don't have a code for them, sorry. But either way, I do love this one. This one is number five. It's so light. It's such a just light little color. And it just helps protect your natural nails. It'll help grow with them because it's a flexible product. Um, yeah, just while you're in between stages. Because if not, I'll pick my nails and they'll be so bad. Some are so short. Oh, it just hurts, right? So really, really good product that was not in my top 10 but I didn't want to tell you what I, or I did want to tell you what was on my hands okay so now we did the glue we did the primer we did our peel base let's just go to brushes for a quick sec I've been loving this brush it's an eyebrow brush I believe uh, but I love it as a cleanup brush so it just whatever the angle of it is there's something about it that I find just works incredible like and because it's so short, it doesn't fray as much. There's almost like no fraying to it. Rather than some of the longer ones that I find fray. This is not a good example because it looks like something is like cured on that. It's a little... Definitely cured on that. <laughs> a little hard. Um, now, I found a more reasonable one priced, but honestly, I'm not a fan. Oh, so sorry, guys. Um, I'm not a fan. And the reason why, it's just, it's not as slanted this is still kind of straight across and i do like the slantedness of this the angled just it just works it angles with your finger it goes around this it works it's still thin but it's just something about this works a lot better right i don't know it feels better too i feel so i'm gonna know i like the feeling it does not come with this i just like the tape on it in case acetone gets up there it makes it from not like being gross but the tapes get gross, so <laughs> is what it is. Um, but I really do enjoy that brush, so I'll definitely put one of them linked down below. Lately, uh, I just got it recently, sorry, I apologize, not lately. This little guy, I'm absolutely loving it. It is just a rechargeable, it is so powerful, like OMG. <laughs> Love that little guy. I just leave the cord on it, to be honest, and I usually leave it on my mouth, and when I need it, I just take it off. So I love that guy too. Um, another thing, uh, Wilson bits, it's one of my favorite drill bits, I get them off AliExpress. So this is one of the ones that I use, which is a medium, ooh, barrel bit. This is like my go-to bit, medium barrel bit. That's all you need, for gel, at least, that's what I find. Gel, Gel X. Gel X, you could use a, a fine, but, um, for hard gels and stuff. Medium is usually the way I go. So favorite bit. Love the Wilson store, period. That's where I get all my bits from. I don't even really buy any bits from anywhere else. Um, do I? I bought little packs, I think, just to test them out. But to be honest, when I need a bit, that's usually where I go. And I really just use these. This is my main bit. That's on my drill right now, I promise you. Um, that one. So pardon me. A couple other things, and then I'll let you go. I didn't want this one to be too, too long today. So tips. Let's go to nail tips. I bought a fair share of nail tips in my day. <laughs> I'll tell you guys that. So, but I found this one on Alley that I feel like is a pretty good dupe for the Pretty One. So, hmm, you tell me how you how it kind of looks and feels. I don't have like two of the same um, lengths. I wish I did. I soon enough I will. I did buy some on the Eleven Eleven um, thing. So this is like an XL square. It does come in the, a prey ish box. Let me grab a prey. So there you go. Like that's the prey box right so it kind of has that vibe some of them do have the manicure or something i swear they had on it okay but anyways so here we go they do have the numbered up top for you and then the sizes so i think i personally have a pretty small thumb not small, small medium i think it's big so the a, a zero part of me is too large for my um, and remember i do have product on my hand too so but this is the extra long, pretty decent little length. You still have a nice little apex is what I like. But you also here is like the most important part. I feel it stays straight. Well, no, let me put it crooked. But this is the part that is like, to me, is a big deal. It has to stay straight from your finger out. I hate when it goes down. Like, you know what I mean? There's just something about that crispness and you having your apex. So I love the shape of these. I think they work really, really well. I really truly enjoy them. Now these are soft gel tips. So one for the cause. Pretty like flexible. Look, it didn't even really bend it, but I think if you do, 
yeah, I'm going to hard enough. You'll still get your line. But they are thinner around here than they are here. You can feel the thickness. Like, I can't really bend that. Like, so you feel like it, it gets thingamajigged. Um, here, not so much. It's a little bit thinner, so that's kind of nice. I'll just kind of squeeze up and pray one for you guys. And what I also like about this brand is they make a good difference between their almond and stiletto. Sometimes when you get almond and stiletto shorter uh, in some companies, they really look exactly the same. So I want to show you the difference because, oh, there you go. So some of them have this on the box, the manicure company. That's the brand on Ali. Some don't though. So here is a stiletto. Let's grab a stiletto zero, please. And then I have an almond zero. So a stiletto has a little, a little point to her, right? But you'll get a lot of them that say almond. I could probably pull one. Let's see, short, what do we have here? So this is an almond I just pulled out of Claire. Sorry, that's what they're, an almond. That's what they're trying to tell me an almond is, okay? Just as a little example, sorry. All right, medium almond, uh, Amazon brand. Okay. Cool beans. So that's what they're trying to tell me an almond is. Okay. <laughs> Let's put that up there for one sec. So here is the stiletto that I grabbed from the manicure brand. Um, and I'm sorry if I don't know the, the companies on Alley, like the stores. I will put from the stores I get them from in the description below. So this is their medium, medium stiletto we just grabbed. Okay, now this is their almond. <laughs> That's an almond. Do you know what I'm saying? There's a difference in the shape. That's what they're trying to tell me an almond is. That looks exactly like the stiletto. Don't do me like that, right? There's a big difference. A pointed, not pointed. So a lot of them I find, in my opinion, I'm buying enough tips in my days. Um, <laughs> A lot of them do this. It literally reminds, it's a stiletto, it's not an almond. So I would still have to nip off the tip of that or you customize it or it's just not what you want, right? It really isn't. If you look at it, there's such a big difference. You see the width here? It's a lot thicker and wider at the each edge. So again, you're, it's not an almond, you're, it's not the right shape, right? So if you're selling them as press-ons too, that's not gonna be what somebody ordered even if your box says, oh, well, my box says it. Well. Your box is wrong, unfortunately. So you have to make sure that you know the difference as well. So I love that this brand, you, there is a difference. They know what they're talking about. So I do like that. So I really, that's kind of where I've been putting my money. They're not bad. They're about 15, 16 bucks Canadian. Um, yeah, so it's not too, too bad. And you get what you pay for though, right? So I'm, I don't complain about spending a little bit more because I think the Prey ones are, what, 50 bucks Canadian, I feel. So I'm, I'm good. I'm okay paying 15 and waiting a month for it. Oh, okay, I guess I took out that one too, my bad. All right, so this is the a prey one, sorry. And this is just a coffin, I apologize. Again. It's a little bit... Oops. This one's longer, so I, I guess it's going to be a little bit different, but you can kind of tell it's still flexible. Again, here is a lot harder. If you pinch it hard, it will probably do the same, which it just did. So, But you can feel the difference. Okay, so it probably is still a, a little thicker. A little bit. Smidge? No smidge. Kind of. But same nice arch love so I, I personally like it in my opinion I think it's worth a try and then test it out for yourself it's only 15 bucks um, so it's probably cheaper if you're in like the states or whatever um, whatever the conversion is right should it be much over 20 bucks either way or cheaper I guess on my end so or on your end <laughs> so those are the tips that I've been enjoying from this brand I'm just gonna set them there and then one more, two more things. So let's go hard gel. I can't not do this without doing a Vanalisa hard gel. Vanalisa is probably like one of the first hard gels that I've ever tried. Um, and I just love them. I have the whole collection of them. And that's what I use. So this is my personal favorite one, Apricot Pink. And you can tell it's my lowest one. 
just going to grab this little tip here. And so what I do for my tips is I don't buff them. So before I do nail art, I just put this primer on them and I feel like it works really well. It does etch it up a little bit and it's going to be able to give me a tip without me having to do a base coat on them. So I really do enjoy that. Again, I think a prey does have one that is supposed to be for their type of system. So I guess this is like my dupe to the prey one. Um, again, off of Alley, uh, five, six bucks, I think. Oh, that was sticky. So yeah, I just put a little, one, two craze. And it doesn't like discolor, you know, make it all white, anything like that. So brushes. This is a great time to show you the brush I've been loving off of Ali. Okay, so here we are, Annie's. Would you like to? So this brush I've absolutely been loving. It's just, I don't know what it is. It's a good length. It feels nice. The only thing, there is no lid. Not that I'm a crazy lid person, but I've been actually enjoying having my brushes out on my desk and I can tell that not a lot. I don't actually leave them too prepped usually when I put them away for that reason because they will get cure a little. So we're going to go here and just show you this, but Elisa, just quickly how it kind of lays, none too crazy, in and out. And I was going to switch out these lights. One moment. Okay, I'm just going to do a slip layer. Never do a slip layer as messy as I just did that because I would be all over your finger. It's not the best example. I do apologize. But I should really prep my brush. Okay, so that's just our slip layer. Very, very thin layer all over your nail. Sorry, my hand is nearby. All over your nail. And then cure it. Make sure you do not touch your sidewalls nothing of the sort if you do please cure it or sorry do not cure it please uh wipe it off first clean it up and then go in and cure it this is very very important to not getting any lifting this step right here your slip layer is your most important layer i feel besides all your other prep you did prior to that all right so we have that cured and the reason that your slip layer is so important is gel will go where gel was so if you do a really neat slip layer you have less chance that you're going to flood your cuticle because your gel will just go where your gel was already been or has already been right so just start in the middle oh my brush is not prepped girl you're bad it's okay So all I'm doing is just keeping it in the middle. And by doing that, by the time I get down here, see, this is just hitting where it needs to be. And then you can just flush it out. And the other side should be able to do the same thing. Just use the tip of your brush. Then you should put your finger upside down few minutes just allow everything to pull back up you know kind of just keep your nail a little skinny right the more you let it pull down the wider your nail is going to end up getting so if you flip every time oh gosh you know why i keep being in your face guys i'm so sorry this lamp died i should have flipped them but i'm trying to use this lamp on my right i never use that lamp it's weird i'm right-handed so i think having everything on that side is really weird to me right now <laughs> so we're just going to let that cure just a nice thin layer, not in too craze. We can just say we want cap in a natural nail to give us some strength. Okay, so let that cure. But again, this is definitely my favorite color off of them. But they have a nice variety. More of the, some of the co colors are a little different to be honest, but I would say more of the natural type of vibes. They have them nothing really too, too crazy or colored like that, but one of my favorites. What was the name of that one again? Apricot Pink. Beautiful. Okay, so the only thing we have left, guys, I'll let that cure for a few more minutes, is some crystals. I cannot not tell you guys about some crystals. So just going to keep it really simple. I would say your basics, your flatbacks uh, and shapes, 
is really where you want to kind of start but um we'll get in that one one sec so here we go that is that color it self levels beautifully obviously i would need a little bit more here in my dipping but in all truth this nail tip it does dip down like this it's not the best one i just use it for swatches but hmm, it's not the best quality for that but it does self level beautifully we don't have really any lumps not really any, not much bubbling and usually when the air, air pockets is usually because of your application <laughs> So that would be my fault. But beautiful, beautiful color. Like I said, it's very natural and just very transparent. Yeah, and see through. Kind of like what I have on, honestly. Hmm. But it's a hard gel, so you must file off a hard gel. Do not get that twisted. Um, so just to keep that in mind, guys, when you are looking at hard gels, you have to file them off. You cannot soak them off. So please be careful with that. And don't use a file, any file, if you don't know what or how to use them. They can really damage your nail. Be very careful when you're using an electric nail file because she can hurt you. Okay, so last but certainly not least, my favorite <laughs> stop. You have to go over there and look. I do not go over there and look unless I got an extra 20 because, by golly, it gets me every time. You know where we're going. The BDD store. It is like my ultimate favorite store for flat backs and shapes. That's where I get all mine. I just don't even go down the road of the acrylic ones anymore. This is all glass, so I find my shine lasts a lot longer. It doesn't dull as you do the acrylics. And to be honest, they're not like they're not that expensive depending on where you want to go for your basic colors. They're really not. They're only a few dollars. And then you can get up to some really cool different ones. I'll show you just a couple uh, little samples here, but some different ones that you can see in there that are just like, oh my God. But even on this little display, which I found for like $20 on Alley, love it. I have a lot of these, not all, but by golly, one day, hashtag goals, right? And then look at the shapes. And I love how it tells you, it gives you your sizing. So now you can kind of get more familiar where you want to be. I've been finding SS12s and SS10s is like, kind of like, I don't know, the, my go-to size. Um, but 16s I, I've been liking too. I like to buy the mixes if I can, but I know a lot of people do prefer the individual. So this is nice to be able to know. And again, even me be able to know the different ones. It's kind of cool as a content creator. It's nice to be able to or it would be nice to be able to look at this and be like, oh, okay, so these are called raindrops. So I can explain it more in that vibe. So even when you're looking it up, it'll be easier, right? So it's just cool that it that even has that there. I should probably utilize that more, to be honest. <laughs> Teach myself some things. So a couple, a must right now for this season would be Siam, which is their red. Oh my God. And again, guys, I said these are all glass. The shine is just... It's crazy. Like they're just so pretty. Ugh, I just can't. Okay, so even here, I'm not going to take them all out. I'll just show you here in the pot. Oh my god, right? So this one is called Magic Rose. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing I've seen all day today? I'm like, oh my goodness. Ugh. And that stays. Don't top coat them. Oh my god, never top coat your crystals. Please don't do that. Um, pearls, yeah, that's fine. Not crystals. <laughs> but yeah, this is just gorgeous. Like, oh, and that will stay on your nail. So, that I love. How you get them, they do not come in pots, they come in bags. I have to do some potting, so I thought I'd just show you on how you would get it in raw form. And no, the name does not come with them, but you can look on the site, and that's what I do. And then when I go to pot them, I'll just put the name in a little thing with my Dymo labeler. So I really do enjoy them. Like, look at that one. This is called, what, Green Dream. I'm not going to take it out because I haven't put a name on a pot thing yet, but we're going to do an ASMR for these guys. Don't worry. But is that not just, like, the most beautiful thing ever? It's giving me like dragonfly vibes. I don't know, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Like, oh, uh, my favorite. So check out BDD for sure for any of your crystals. Like I said, they'll have all your flat backs. So when you're starting out, it's kind of all you need, right? Right in there. And pretty, pretty, um, how do you call it? Pretty like affordable priced, um, considering you're getting them glass and they're not acrylic. So that is it, guys. That's about my top 10, maybe 11 or so. <laughs> Might have squeezed a couple more in there. But I hope you guys enjoy this style of video. Let me know if this helps you guys on your shopping journey. And let me know if you liked any other type of video like this. 
Thank you guys so much again. Make sure you hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. Alright guys, bye!